Hi everyone, I'm Ramiro. I'm one of the co-founders of Octeto. Today, I'm going to show you how to deploy your development environment in Octeto. When you log in, this is the first page that you see. This is your dashboard. Here, you'll see a list of your active dev environments, your namespaces, and your settings. In order to deploy your dev environment, you're going to click on the Deploy button. This will open up the Deploy dialog. In Octeto, you can deploy your dev environments either from a Git repository or from a Helm chart. Today, we're going to be using our Movies app sample, which is deployed via a Git repository. You can click on any of the shortcuts like I'm doing now, or copy paste your own repository's URL. And then you get to pick your branch. In this case, I'm going to leave it empty. So Octero will just use the default branch of my repo. Click Deploy and let Octero do its job. The first thing Octero is going to do is clone the repository and look for an Octeto pipeline file. This is a special file that tells Octeto how to deploy your dev environment. In this case, I'm going to build the API uh, container, the front-end container, and then install my application using Helm Upgrade. You don't have to do all those things, but I like to build my containers on every deploy to make sure that I have the latest version of everything. If you notice, I'm using Octeto build instead of Docker build. This is so that Octero uses its own built service. That way, we're building the containers in the same cluster where they're meant to be running, which is faster than, say, using something like Docker Hub. And it also takes advantage of the pre-stored caches that are there. Every time you build your image, the cache will be stored there, ready for it, for it to be used the next time. Once this uh, pipeline is finished executing, you will see that the application shows up here. In this case, the Movies app has three components, the API, the front end, and MongoDB. You'll see that each of them is running. You can click here to see the state of it, the logs. This can be one pod or multiple pods, depending on your application. And more importantly, you can also see the endpoints of that component. If you click on the pipeline, you'll see the build pipeline logs and all the endpoints of your application. And it's one of the coolest parts of Octero. Once you deploy your dev environment, you can click on any of these endpoints and you're going to have access to your entire application working end to end. This is the same app that you're going to have in staging, in production, but just for you on your personal namespace. In this case, I already went to see the UI, but I could also access the API. Let's say in this case, slash API is not implemented, but what about slash API slash movies? This is working the same way as it would do when I'm calling the API. And this is how you deploy your own development environment with Octeto. It's this simple. From here, you could use our CLI or even our VS Code uh, integration to develop directly in your dev environment. Check out the rest of our videos to learn more about this or go to octeto.com to get started. Thank you.